God bless you. God bless you. It's me, Pastor Lynn. You're watching Retro, getting it all back. I pray that this program today lifts your head. I pray that with all that's happening in this area with Hurricane Irma, that you're able to be refilled with what you need to go on. It's just we're all a little stunned from this hurricane and all it's done. Some of us with great losses, some with us, of us with small losses, and some of us with no losses. But meanwhile, it's disoriented us a little bit. Today, you're going to see the presence of God like very few times here in our midst. We have two men of God that have come. One man of God, Evangelist Jeff Ferguson, has landed here because he said, this is where the move of God is going to take place, and I want to be there. He's such a magnificent songwriter and worshiper. He opens the portals of heaven so we can be recipients of the miraculous. And then we have Bishop Lewis Jones, who stopped by here. He's on his way down to St. Martin with all the goods that they need down there, just ravaged by this hurricane. My heart is hurting for all the destruction that the wind and the water did. But we shall recover. We shall be restored because God is for us. So be encouraged today. This program is going to build your faith. It's going to get you what you need to make it to recover, to be restored. Now we have Shabak, who are so anointed. These gals are just spending so much time in the presence of the Lord, and you're going to feel the anointing, and you're going to see they minister overcomer. You will receive the spirit of the overcomer as you watch them minister. We'll be back in a little while. How many of you guys are thankful for the blood of Jesus? So grateful for his blood.
the conqueror, I am a winner. The joy of the Lord is my strength. I have dominion and I walk in authority. I've been washed in the blood. I'm kept by his love. I'm filled with the spirit and by his strife. And when they went in there, Peter didn't preach until after he came out to tell the people what was going on and about what God already did and thousands were saved. Well, I want that what God already did in here right now. Something I can't do. Something Pastor Lynn can't do. Something Rick and Diane can't do. Something James can't do. Something Grace can't do. I want to take my hands off. I want to take my hands off. I sold something last Monday after I left here. I sold something to a man. And I'd never met a man named Fowler before. But his name was Fowler. I got a Diet Coke out of the Coke machine that you can't see. You know how they're personalized? It came out of the machine and it said Fowler. In the mouth of two or more witnesses, let every word be established. Hallelujah. And all I know is something is happening on Fowler Street. Right here, right here. And it's something that we could not do that we did not do before. Because we know how to produce what we've already produced, but we want something so much better than what we can produce. We want to be able to say, let me tell you what God did on Fowler Street. Yeah. And see thousands saved. Is there a witness in this place? Hallelujah. They said, he said, we're not drunk as you supposed. God, I want to be drunk. I want to be drunk with your glory and with your spirit. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Just lift up both hands and get everything God has for you. This drunkenness comes from falling down upon us, tongues of fire falling down on them, and arising up from within us. That spirit flow from within. When water meets water, when deep calls into deep, it creates glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Somebody has not been baptized in the Holy Ghost, so it's been a long time since you flowed in the Spirit. Just loose the Holy Ghost right now. Just loose the gifts of God. They're being stirred up right now. Some of you have never, ever spoken in tongues, never been baptized in the Holy Ghost. Some of you, it's been a long time. By faith, 
open up your mouth and speak out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 There it is. There it is. Speak Hallelujah. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. These are not drunk as we suppose, but this is that that was spoken by the prophet yes. Joel. In those days I will pour out my spirit, old, young, on everybody. Whosoever will, let them come and drink. Hallelujah. This morning, when you said it starts with the letter R, Pastor Grace, the Holy Spirit said to me, number one is repent. And repentance is the lifestyle of the believer. But not just, you know, for things that are evident. But I think that we need to search ourselves. And I think that sometimes to gain new life, You've got to die. And we've become a very narcissistic nation, a very narcissistic people, which means it's all about me. Me, mine, I. And the Holy Spirit's saying, that's got to get out of the way. Because without me, you are nothing. So get me up where I belong. We need to be healed inside of attitudes. You know, attitudes, just there's terrible attitudes going on in our world, and it's seeping into the church. It's awful, Pastor James. The enemy is at work to try to divide, talk about Fowler Street. We have no room for racial prejudice here. It's a deceptive ploy from the enemy. Look at this platform. Look at just look around you. God has put us together uniquely. Red and yellow, black and white. The enemy's trying so hard to put hatred across our country. The media is absolutely demonic. Okay? We have the power in the name of Jesus to change it. But let me tell you something. It starts with me. It's got to start with you. Anger. Anger. Anger is a terrible root. You want to be justified. I have a right to be angry. You know, this is what happened to me. I have a right to be angry, have an attitude. After all, well, I have a right also to have an attitude, but I have chosen to let it go because I want my full inheritance. I want what's totally mine. And in this season right now, whatever God's doing, I, I, I don't believe it's even, it's even going to be for the church. It's going to be for the person. The person. Individually. You have a hunger. I have a hunger. Do you have a hunger? How many have a hunger for more of God? You have a hunger for more of God. You got to die. Die to yourself and your justification. Okay, and come in with a, okay, gimme, give gimme. Give My name is Jimmy when you come to church. Rather than looking around saying, God, forget about me. Let, me. let me just reach out and see maybe I could lift her head a little bit. Or lift her head. Or lift, maybe I could say a word to encourage her. And I got my load of stuff, but I'm coming into church. It's like Kennedy said, not asking what the church could do for me, but what I could do for the church. So right now, I believe that there are issues that you've got to settle. First of all, you got to see yourself dead and resurrected again in your head. In your head. You've allowed people's opinions. You've allowed the media. You've allowed 
even people at work to infiltrate your brain. And I just ask you, is your mind the mind of Christ? Or is it your mind? Come on, come on, come on. Right now, we need to be one in here. Get rid of your anger. Get rid of your attitude. I know when you have an attitude. I'm a Geico counter. I'm a Holy Ghost guy. I can tell. You don't know what they did to me. You don't know what he did to you. You know what she did to me. Right now, we've chosen to go higher. In order to go higher, we got to die. Just lift your hands up right now. If that's your desire, if that's your desire, have a personal minute with the Holy Spirit right now. He blessed it the way God told Moses to bless. He says, say these words. He says, when you put these words, say these words, you will put my name on it. You see, the name of the Lord makes the difference with your little. The name of the Lord makes the difference with your inability. The name of the Lord is going to transform you to somebody else. Hallelujah. You are weak, biting your fingernails, discouraged all the time. But all of a sudden you are transformed. You are able to conquer devils and triumph over the works of hell. Because the name of the Lord, come on, hallelujah. In the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And then he gave it to them. The miracle did not happen in his hands. The miracle happened in theirs. Imagine they took the piece that he gave them. And when they are breaking it to give the people, it began to multiply. Oh Lord, let me say to these people over here. So you think, we think, well, we don't have what it takes to meet the world. I promise you. God is going to multiply you. You talk about wisdom, you're going to have wisdom beyond your years. You talk about life, you're going to have life that you never had before. Come on, hallelujah. You talk about glory, you're going to experience glory that you will have to bow and give him worship. Come on, church, hallelujah. Tell somebody I'm ready for that. I'm ready to go where I never thought I could go. You see, I don't know about you, but if God want to knock me down, knock me down. Do whatever you want to do with me. As long as I can meet the needs of somebody else. The miracle happened in their hands. When they begin to give. So prepare to give anywhere you go. Prepare to be walking in the mall and prophesying people. Prepare to pass somebody and know their whole life and have to turn back and speak the word in their life. Come on, hallelujah. Prepare to see what you have never seen before. Imagine the disciples feeding these people from a little piece they got from Jesus. And they get a basket full from him, they got a piece. But as they begin to give that piece, they begin to multiply. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Are you ready for multiplication in your life? Are you ready for God to bless you? The Bible says the husband man must first partake of the fruit. So save me some money. If God is going to give you the give out, he would never leave you hungry. Hallelujah. He's going to fill you to fill others. The Bible says they gather up the fragments and it was 12 baskets full. The whole nation of Israel were represented in the 12 baskets full. Because each basket represented a tribe. I promise you, where we are, if you are like where I am, I come before his presence and I bring my little... I say, Lord, in the past, we had great men that you used in the past. And they look as, where are the miracles? Where are the mighty men? Where are the people who produce the glory, as it were? People that you can squeeze and the oil will come forth. Samson said, out of the eater came forth meat and out of the strong came forth sweetness. Honey from the carcass of a lion only when he is 
dead. And I'm saying, God, here is my life. It's not much. I know you have many others that you can use. But you can take me. You can take me. You can fill me. You know, in this country, we have all kind of seminars on spiritual warfare, binding all kind of devils and all kind of stuff. I want to teach you the simple principle. When Esther wanted to confront Haman, the biggest enemy, you know how she did it? She did it by hosting the king in her house. Don't confront the enemy by yourself alone. Just bring the king in the house. And let's see what the devils can do. They can't do nothing when you host the king in your house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I trust that you felt the same strength, the same power that we felt in this room, there in your room. We're just so excited to see what God is doing. We've all been through so much with these, with the hurricanes that have come, and we're really rebuilding each other in our most holy faith. And today we have double for our trouble. We had two anointed men of God. First of all, you know, you know our dear precious evangelist, minister, Jeff Ferguson, and he just came in with a free worship. Folks just were absolutely so blessed here in the service. It was just, it was amazing. And then we have our Bishop Lewis Jones, hallelujah, who is on his way to St. Martin to roll up his sleeves and not just preach, but to be the gospel, to be the gospel, rolling up your sleeves and doing it. Tell me, tell me, Bishop, let me speak to you first. Y your heart is bent for that, what's happening in St. Martin. Well, a few weeks ago, I, my ear heard my mouth saying to God, if you want me to go to St. Martin and serve the people, I would. And uh, 20 minutes after, an apostle from Alabama by the name of uh, Kent Maddox called and said, Bishop, I want to partner with you to help the people in St. Martin. 20 minutes after, my brother, Michael Cox, called from Alabama. So we want to do the same. So we were able to uh, rent a container and filled it with food. Wow. We are taking it to give the people. We are not sending it for somebody to do it. We are doing it ourselves. You're going right there, yes. open that thing up and yes. give it out. Well, we're, we're so happy to be a part of that. Yes, yes. As we evidenced this morning, our people are behind you. We can't go with you, but we can send Amen. with you. So Amen. we're praying the blessing of God. But I needed to be here today. I needed to be in the worship. Yes. See, because I am an intercessor and a worshiper who yes. preach. Yes. Not a preacher first. Ah. And just being in the basking in the holy presence of God, that makes a difference. Amen. People can forget the words we preach. They can forget the best of sermons, but they would never forget their encounter in their the glory encounter. of God. Wow. And we're preparing you to go down there and be yes. strong yes, be in the strong. presence of the Lord. Now, you, You're going to be walking in the mud. Amen. <laughs> walking in the mud. Yes. <laughs> and you evangelist, songwriter, waymaker, <laughs> joy to have you here. I don't know what God's up to, but we're receiving it. You know, I don't know what God is up to, but I, I know that it's nothing that you can do no. or nothing that I can do. No. Nothing that you can do, nothing, nothing that worked before will do it. No. But it's something that only God yes. can do. Yes. It's nothing that we can make happen no. by doing the right things. No. But it is something on the inside of us that so desires mm. God to have his way. Amen. There is a hunger on the inside of me that is matching the hunger on the inside of the people yes. here on Fowler Street. Yes. And something is happening. Deep is calling unto deep. Oh my. And, and there's something happens when the river within us is stirred up. It begins mm. to flow out and touches the rain of God that falls down upon mm. us. When water touches water, deep calls to deep. Wow. It creates a glory that nothing can compare. Wow. And I know that all of us are familiar with the anointing of God. Yes. And, and it's like when, when you experience the anointing, 
nothing else compares to it nothing, nothing. No. and there is a level of anointing that is happening on Fowler Street right, right here right now yeah. today was so powerful it was so anointed the glory, the the glory, glory of here. God yes. and, and 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 nothing that we did we we all keep Just hearing God saying money. take your hands off of it take your I'm going to do something that you can't do and so I believe God that's what God keeps telling me take your hands off of it and we all even in this service we're kind of walking softly yeah. what, what's wanting next? to what's next yes. well, and on all the yeah. people yeah. it was like yeah. what's next and there was always a next yes there was always a next God is doing something Amen. God's filling us we're so hungry aren't we hungry we're hungry and that's what's drawing God's attention yes. yeah. amen if you are curious and you want to know what happened here on Fallow Street we're so ready to send you a CD or a DVD of what took place here you only see a small part on retro but so much happened here in the lives of the people we obeyed as the spirit moved it was just it was an amazing amazing morning hey We've got somebody ready to talk with you, somebody to pray with you. All you have to do is dial the number on your screen. We'll send it to you. We'll send you a CD, DVD, or anything else that you need. That's what we're doing on Fowler Street. Hey, the Lord be with you. You're hungry and thirsting after righteousness? Come and see us. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Till we see you again, be blessed, highly favored, and empowered to prosper.